everyone. Welcome. You're watching NewsX with me, Devika Chopra. The air quality levels in Delhi are worsening by the day. Currently, the overall air quality in the national capital continues to remain in the very poor category with an AQI of 306 recorded this morning. Bombay has also, of course, released a number of measures to curb the worsening air quality, while Delhi has now imposed the GRAP 2. Minister for Environment for Delhi, Gopal Rai, has explained what the Delhi government will be doing to mitigate air pollution as winters now approach and this smoke screen that Delhiites and other states neighbouring us face on a year after year after year basis approaches us once again. We've had an exclusive conversation with the Minister for Environment. Uh, let's quickly listen in to what is it that he's said to NewsX before I take this conversation forward and we show to our viewers what exactly is the current scenario in Delhi with our experts with us. But first, let's listen in to what Gopal Rai has had to say. राजधानी दिल्ली में प्रदूषण का ग्राफ लगातार बढ़ता जा रहा है और इसके पीछे कई वजह बताई जा रही है दिल्ली के अंदरूनी मामले होते हैं जिससे प्रदूषण बढ़ता है साथ ही साथ बाहरी मामले भी होते हैं जिनमें अहम योगदान होता है दिल्ली में प्रदूषण बढ़ने का दिल्ली सरकार के पर्यावरण मंत्री गोपाल राय हमारे साथ हैं जिन्होंने अब से थोड़ी देर पहले लगभग अट्ठाईस विभागों के साथ एक संयुक्त बैठक की है सर बैठक में क्या कुछ निकला अट्ठाईस विभाग थे पॉल्यूशन पहली बार लग रहा है कि तीन के आंकड़े को पार कर चुका है दिल्ली में देखिए ये पहले से पूर्वानुमान था कि सर्दियां बढ़ेंगी और साथ साथ जो हवा की स्पीड है वो कम होगी उसको देखते हुए अब धीरे धीरे प्रदूषण का स्तर बढ़ने लगा है तीन सौ से पार प्रदूषण गया है और उसको देखते हुए पूरे दिल्ली के अंदर ग्रैप टू का जो डायरेक्शन सी ओ क्यू एम का है उसे लागू कर दिया गया है उसको दिल्ली में और कैसे बेहतर तरीके से इम्प्लीमेंट किया जाए उसके लिए आज हमने जो है सभी विभागों की संयुक्त बैठक की और जिसमें कई महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय हम लोगों ने लिया है जिसमें से पहला निर्णय लिया है खास तौर से जो हॉट स्पॉट्स हैं उन पर विशेष मॉनिटरिंग शुरू होगी जितने जो डीसी इंचार्ज हैं हॉट स्पॉट्स के 25 तारीख को ग्राउंड विजिट खुद करेंगे और वहाँ जो भी अगर कोई कमी है उसको जो है दूर करके वहाँ पर एक्शन प्लान को तेज करेंगे साथ ही साथ अभी आज हमने ये देखा है कि तेरह हॉट स्पॉट्स के अलावा करीब आठ ऐसे एरियाज हैं जहाँ पे एक वाई थोड़ा ज़्यादा दिख रहा है इसके लिए स्पेशल टीम बनाई गई है जो वहाँ ग्राउंड विजिट करके और क्या सोर्स हैं उसको आइडेंटिफाई करेगी और उसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए एफर्ट करेगी साथ ही साथ अब पूरे दिल्ली के अंदर जो पानी का छिड़काव हो रहा है अब अभी तक सामान्य पानी से हो रहा था अब उसमें जो डस्ट सेपरेशन के जो पाउडर होता है उसको मिला करके इसका छिड़काव किया जाएगा जिससे कि उसे और डस्ट को कंट्रोल किया जा सके इसी तरह से अब बस और मेट्रो की फ्रीक्वेंसी बढ़ाने के लिए निर्देश जो है वो जारी किए गए हैं कि बस की फ्रीक्वेंसी बढ़ाई जाए साथ ही साथ पर्यावरण बस सेवा जो है वो शुरू करने की तैयारी शुरू करने के निर्देश दिए गए हैं मेट्रो में जो सात आठ मीटर मिनट की जो गैप है उसे पाँच छः करने का और जहाँ पर चार पाँच का है उसे दो तीन करने का निर्णय दिया गया है उसी तरह से जो एस हैं वो आर की मीटिंग बुलाएँगे और वो जो गार्ड्स होते हैं उन लोगों को जो है उनसे हीटर दिलवाने के उपलब्ध कराने के लिए जो है निर्णय लेंगे सर कई स्कीम्स होती हैं चाहे वो ऑड इवेंट हो या फिर रेड लाइट ऑन इंजन ऑफ हो आ, 26 तारीख से आपने मुहिम शुरू किया लगता है कि इस बार भी उसकी परमिशन मिलेगी क्योंकि पिछली बार आ, जो रेड लाइट ऑन है इंजन ऑफ है उसका सर जो परमिशन थी वो नहीं मिल पाई थी देखिए इस बार रेड लाइट ऑन गाड़ी आपको एक जन जागरूकता अभियान के रूप में चलाया जाएगा जिसमें सिविल डिफेंस वॉल्टियर्स को नहीं लगा रहे हैं इस बार जो सामाजिक संगठन हैं जो इको क्लब है पर्यावरण मित्र हैं आर हैं जो हमारे जो प्रतिनिधि हैं विधायक हैं पार्षद हैं तो सब लोग मिल करके इसे एक जन जागरूकता के अभियान के रूप में चलाएंगे क्योंकि रेड लाइट पर इंजन तो हम ही बंद नहीं करते हैं तो हम सब मिल करके दूसरे को इसका प्रचार करें कि भाई रेड लाइट अगर आती है तो अपना जो है गाड़ी का इंजन बंद कर लें सर ऑड इवेंट की जरूरत लग रही इस साल पड़ेगी क्योंकि हमने देखा था ऑड इवेंट काफ़ी हद तक सक्सेस रहा था रिपोर्ट्स भी हमने देखी थी कि ऑड इवेंट से पोल्यूशन थोड़ा कम हुआ था लगता है कि इस बार ऑड इवेंट की जरूरत पड़ेगी दिल्ली में देखिए अभी जो स्थितियां हैं उसमें तो ऐसा नहीं लग रहा है लेकिन सरकार हर निर्णय के लिए तैयार है अगर कोई ऐसी स्थिति बनती है तो एक्सपर्ट्स की ओपिनियन ले करके निर्णय हम लेंगे 
दो सवाल और रहेंगे बस आ, जो प्रदूषण है दिल्ली में सबको पता है कि दिल्ली का हिस्सा लगभग 30 प्रतिशत होता है वाहनों का धुआं डस्ट पोल्यूशन हो गए और 70 प्रतिशत जो हिस्सा होता है वो बाहरी राज्यों का है पंजाब हरियाणा पश्चिमी उत्तर प्रदेश सर बड़ी संख्या में पराली जल रही है हरियाणा में आपकी सरकार नहीं है लेकिन पंजाब में तो आपकी सरकार है पराली को लेकर सर इस बार आ, क्या कुछ परिणाम है निकल सामने आ रहे हैं क्योंकि सर धुआँ लगातार जो है पराली का वो दिल्ली पहुँच रहा है अभी देखिए अभी कुछ ही दिन पहले हमने केंद्रीय पर्यावरण मंत्री के साथ सभी राज्यों के पर्यावरण मंत्रियों की संयुक्त बैठक हुई थी और उसमें हमने इन सभी बिंदुओं को सबके सामने रखा और हमने अपील की कि भाई हमें आपके सबके सहयोग की ज़रूरत है पंजाब में भी वहाँ की सरकार तैयारी कर रही है और बाकी राज्यों के साथ भी हमने ये बात की है कि इस बार पिछले से ज़्यादा इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पर फोर्स करें जिससे कि हम कम से कम उसका जो असर पड़ता है दिल्ली में वो कम हो सके सवाल कल दशहरा है पटाखे पे दिल्ली पे बैन है लेकिन एनसीआर में अभी भी बैन नहीं लगा बड़ी संख्या में पड़ोसी जिलों में आतिशबाजी होती है दशहरे के दिन दिल्ली में भी ऐसा ना हो इसके लिए सर कोई प्लान या फिर एनसीआर के जिलों में पोल्यूशन बढ़ता है तो उसका सीधा असर दिल्ली पे होता है तो उसके लिए सर कोई प्लान बना अभी तक देखिए अभी दिल्ली में तो पटाखा बैन है इसका निर्देश पुलिस को दिया जा चुका है और दिल्ली के लोगों से भी हमारी अपील है कि हमें सब मिल कर के प्रदूषण को कम करने के लिए काम करना है हमें ऐसा काम करना है जिससे कि हम पर्यावरण मित्र में अपना नाम शामिल करें ऐसे कोई काम ना करें जिससे प्रदूषण बढ़ता हो मुझे उम्मीद है कि सब लोग मिलकर सहयोग करेंगे तो प्रदूषण को और पहले से जो है कम करने में हमें सफलता मिलेगी शुक्रिया बात करने के लिए प्रदेश आकाश के साथ नवीन निशांत इंडिया न्यूज दिल्ली there we heard it that was uh, the environment minister saying that they will now the delhi government will put into place uh, a system that it has uh, to tackle pollution which we do almost on a yearly basis now sandeep chachra with me on the broadcast dr ishwar gilada i also have with me um ella smitnik and uh, dr anil goel with us on the broadcast as well Let me begin this conversation with Dr. Ishwar Gilada, if I may. Dr. Gilada, have you felt in the past few days some sort of uh, a smokiness in the air? Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Devika, for having me on the show. This has become an annual ritual. The only difference is that this time it is one month before uh, it starts, uh, particularly the stubble burning. And uh, not only in Delhi, we in Mumbai also we see uh, for last eight, ten days. Uh, in the morning such a haze that there is no visibility visibility is less than a half a kilometer uh, i don't think uh, even uh, the landing or take off for aircraft is also very smooth nowadays so basically um, i really salute delhi government as well as government of india this time that they have taken uh, it very seriously and they started uh, preventive measures for one month before but however Uh, I haven't seen any announcement either from the central government or Delhi government or any state government to make stubble burning as a uh, non-bailable offence. I think we should be having this kind of very strict action to be taken against those culprits. I call I will call them culprits. They may be doing for their easiness. They may be doing because there is no other option available. But whenever you do something which affects somebody else's health. We've tried for so many years, sir, to uh, penalise uh, stubble burning. It's really not worked out. No, so uh, I had suggested even two or three years before, and now also that what you what the government of um, Haryana, UP, or uh, Punjab should do is that as soon as crop is coming, you make a uh, action plan that okay, you take away your crop, and the government takes over the issue of taking away the stubble. Government doesn't pay. The farmer anything, neither farmer pay anything to the government. Government takes away stubble and then makes a, either briquet or any kind of pellets or anything from that. It can be very good use for furnace use also. So uh, and then you make the, because the, the farmers say that we need only we we have only two weeks or three weeks time between taking away the crop and re-sowing. So I think in that period we should have a machinery like a war footing. That you, uh, as soon as they go for stubble uh, 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 to remove the crop, they will go okay. to the uh, panchayat. They take a NOC that we are today we are taking out. That NOC copy goes to the government. Government takes the with the machinery. Whether they deploy some other agencies or not, it's government lookout. Okay. By doing that, we can take care of the stubble. Okay. Otherwise, 
Uh, yeah. Okay, Dr. Kalal, I'll come back to you. Pankaj Mali, uh, my colleague, is also with us from Amritsar. He's with farmers. Pankaj, where are you standing now? And what's going on there? Yes, absolutely. At this time, I think that the Pakistan government is not in the same place. I'm in Ajnala, where my farmers are with me. We'll talk about what the government is doing for the farmers who are putting the farmers. Because the government is Punjab government is doing the farmers that the farmers are not putting the farmers. The farmers are not putting the farmers. The farmers are not putting the farmers. So the farmers are talking about what the government is doing for the farmers. So we'll talk about what the government is doing for the farmers. What's your name and what the government is doing for the farmers? So we'll talk about what the government is doing for the farmers. My name is Manjit Singh Bhatia. It's not the government. जो पीछे देख रहे हो खेत है देख रहे हो जहाँ पर पानी पड़ गया है पानी पड़ गया है तो वो पराली जड़ी या सूखेगी नहीं ना वो गलेगी उन्हें बाहर निकालना पड़ेगा जिधर वो बाहर निकालना के फिर मजबूरी बन जाएगी पराली नू आल गाने की वैसे ते जो सादा जीविदार इन्ना का जागरूक हो चुका है वो वो पहली और पंजाब में बहुत कट जगह पर आग लग रही है जो दिल्ली वाले बोल रहे हैं कि पंजाब का धुआं दिल्ली में आ गया तुम खेतों में खड़े हो देखो कहीं आग लगी है दिल्ली का धुआं कहां से चला गया वो वैसे ही दिल्ली वाले पंजाब को बदनाम करते हैं और हाडे किसानों को बदनाम करते हैं धुआं उन्होंने का अपना ही है अपनी गाड़ियों का धुआं है जो उन्होंने परेशान कर रहा है पंजाब का धुआं नहीं परेशान कर रहा परेशान उन्होंने उन्होंने फैक्ट्रिया धुआं परेशान कर रहा है उधर तो कुछ करते नहीं के ते पंजाब दा किसान बदनाम करी जान दे पंजाब दा किसान इतना सुहर दे इतना सेना है कि वो जो पराली होती है ना वो खेतों में भी उसको नष्ट करता है और उसकी जो खाद बनती है ना वो साढ़े ली लाये बंद है जे अगर यही आग लगाते हैं तो हाथे मित्र कीड़े जड़ी मर जान दे नहीं वो सारे नुकसान करते हैं इस कार के पंजाब दा जना किसान है बड़ा सेहत किसान है वो आग नहीं लगाता और जे आग लगाता तो मजबूरी वसल लगाता है क्या देखते हैं कैसी मजबूरी है किसानों की क्यों आग लगानी पड़ती है क्योंकि सरकार मशीनें अलग-अलग सब्सिडी देती है पंकज 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 एक बारी फार्मर से पूछिए कि क्या कौन सी फैक्ट्री है कौन सी फैक्ट्री है ये सारी फैक्ट्रियों का धुआं आ रहा है पंजाब से बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैं ये भी सवाल जरूर पूछूंगा कौन सी फैक्ट्री है आप बोल रहे हैं कि फैक्ट्रियों को धुआं दिल्ली जाता है ऐसी कौन सी फैक्ट्री है पंजाब में जिसका धुआं जाल कहा गया है इंडस्ट्री देख लो जाके लुधियाने दिन इंडस्ट्री पर जाओ देखो जाके कितना धुआं है ठीक है दिल्ली के में इंडस्ट्री नहीं है कि दिल्ली का धुआं देख लो कितना है जहाँ देखो सही जाके दुबेंदगार जाके देखो कितना धुआं चल रहा है तो तो आज पंजाब जी खुलोते जी ऊपर देखो कैमरा कम आके कि ऊपर धुआं हैगा है ऊपर प्रदूषण है तो आप कैसे देखते हैं आप बोलते हैं कि दिल्ली में धुआं जा रहा है वो किसान लगातार बहुत सारे मामले भी सामने आ चुके हैं अमृतसर के डिप्टी कमिश्नर भी ये जानकारी दे चुके हैं कि अमृतसर जिले में गुरु नगरी में बहुत सारे किसान पराली को आग लगा रहे हैं क्या मजबूरी है किसान लगातार को जागरूक कर रही है सरकार लेकिन मजबूरी क्या है क्यों आग लगाई जा रही है इसका हल क्या होना चाहिए सारे किसान नहीं आग लगा रहे कुछ किसान आग लगा रहे हैं वो इसलिए उनके पास शांत नहीं है उनको पराली को नष्ट करने वाले तो फिर अपनी मजबूरी होना न पाने दिया भी नुआ कला दिए वो इस कार्य का कलम दे सारे जारा जो उनका सांझे डे वो वो ना कहीं आपको सांझे आओ अपने सांझे ना बंदे या वो दिन ना खेती कर दे वो आगे नहीं लोंगे बहुत जारा काटा होगी आगे पहला जितनी लगती है उन्हीं नहीं आगे तो बिल्कुल आप कैसे देखते हैं छोटे किसान छोटे किसान जो हैं उनको हालांकि सरकार मशीनें दे रही है सब्सिडी पर मशीनें दे रही है कि आप सब्सिडी पर हम मशीन देंगे पराली को आगमत लगाई जाए क्या मजबूरी है अगर सरकार साथ दे रही है तो किसानों को साथ लेना चाहिए सरकार का सरकार साथ दे रही है गली बत्ती पूरी सब्सिडी नहीं मिलती किले डेढ़ किले का मालक उधर मी पै जाता है तो बाश की पिछी हुई पराली कहा जाएगी कहा निकलेगी बाहर वो तो ऐसे बदनाम करते हैं पंजाब को पे ये हो गया वो हो गया कुछ नहीं होता जे चंद्रमा पर पहुंच सकता है इनका जहाज तो धुआं नहीं चेक कर सकते कहां से आता है धुआं चेक करें पे कहां से आ रहा है केरे डिस्ट्रिक्ट से आ रहा है कौन सी तस्वीर में आ रहा है आप देखिए कहां पर आग लगी है आप इधर आए हैं बताओ जे किसी ने लगाई भी होगी चोरी छपी तो कनाल दो कनाल में लगाई होगी कहते है ही नहीं आग तो और हो तो इधर धुआं होगा पंजाब में इधर धुआं क्यों नहीं है 
तो आप चेक कीजिए एवं बदनाम ना करिए पंजाब को नो हमारा इधर धुआं नहीं जाता दिल्ली में दिल्ली में धुआं थोड़ी फैक्ट्री है वो जाता okay. होगा ओके ऑल राइट पंकज थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग अस वी हर्ड व फार्मर्स हैव हैड टू से डॉक्टर अनिल गोयल ऑफ द इंडियन मेडिकल एसोसिएशन आई लाइक टू ब्रिंग यू इन टू द कॉन्वर्सेशन सर एज वी वर स्पीकिंग टू द फार्मर्स वी आल्सो पुट आउट विजुअल्स दैट वी रिसीव फ्रॉम दिस ईयर बाय आवर इनपुट टीम ऑन द फायर्स दैट आर करंटली बींग लेट इन पंजाब नाउ दिस इज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग सर ऑफ द फायर सीजन इन पंजाब you i'm sure heard what the farmers have had to say the farmers of punjab are in complete denial that punjab causes a pollution uh, problem not just for its own state but also for haryana for delhi for uttar pradesh how does one then deal with so- this sort of a situation where the farmer himself is in complete denial and says that this is all pollution is being all the pollution is being caused by factories and vehicles in delhi and none of it is from punjab because we are no longer burning any fires uh, i want to get your perspective and then i'm going to put out some of these maps for our viewers uh, on the screens which show real time since october 2018 the number of fires that have been there in punjab uh, thank you uh- devika ji uh, what i would say that uh, we all know that the delhi air quality is from poor to worse with the uh, hot spot areas and high risk areas having more than 300 aqi so we all know that the parali is burning the stubble is burning of course there are issues with the dust there are issues with industrial uh, pollution there are issues with flying of high vehicle and private vehicle so the solution also lies in everything like we need to control stubble burning there is no question the farmers may be in the denial mode and as you have very rightly said that there this the we have the maps showing that there is stubble burning in punjab so therefore that is one issue which we need to control with the, the modern methods so that the farmers do not need to do the burning and uh, without burning that stubble is being taken care of that's one part but i would certainly take uh, the, the you to the dust problem why can't we use we know that every year there is an issue of uh, this pollution it is going more than 300 as a doctor i am concerned about increasing in our patients of uh, acute exacerbation of copd means dyspnea distress uh, difficulty in breathing especially in children and old days who have already copd or the young children so i am concerned about them that every year it is happening every year it is a ritual that uh, they get breathing problem the opd of our hospital or the delhi hospitals is increasing with the rest breathing problems the admission rate is increasing patients are going uh, to have the ventilatory support if, especially if they are high risk individuals so we need to control with the traffic dust why can't we use the dust suppressant uh, with the sprinklers beforehand we, we can we can do this then there are 28 department meeting as your honorable minister was saying but we need we know every year this is happening we should control it beforehand use your dust suppressant use sprinklers throughout the year why can't we to do that industrial uh, pollution we need to control that heavy vehicle plying we need to control beforehand now, now coming on to private vehicle i am also the responsibility that i clean my filter air filter um regularly it is also the responsibility of the government that they give our pri- public transport in a better manner why can't they do the metro uh, before and the regular interval so that they decrease the interval and and if i get a, a say good bus though i will not use the private vehicle and good bus means the regular interval the time is definite the, there is comfort in that bus so the public will also use private vehicle less if they have a better a public transport system and also i would like to take few seconds that dust is not the only solution in the outdoor the indoor also we need to use air fresheners especially those household which have which are using the bio mass then they must use some sort of air freshener and they should be regularly cleaned so the children and old age people do not get their disease respiratory problem worsen so now coming on to the educational institutions right the education institutions especially in 300 400 possibly will need to be closed but i am not agreeing with that on uh, red light on off and uh, switch off switch on these no, are honestly, just what dr anugrah what will a red light on off uh, yes we should do it 
Okay, I'm not against it. It's a good what practice. That it serves your dad, petrol, uh, saves your petrol and diesel. But yeah. really, every year, every year is the same problem, same fires. Yes. And every year we come and tell people that for 20 days, you put your car on and off at the red light and it'll somehow help you. Of course not. How will it help? You should do it. Throughout the year, regardless you, of pollution. You use your the car, then I would say the parking charges needs to be increased. That is one part so that people possibly will not use their cars and, and then there will, is difficulty in parking in various parts of the city. But what I'm saying is as an individual, this is also my duty to clean my air filters regularly so that the polluted air, because we have now a BS4, BS5, BS6 uh, cars, so the whatever exhaust fumes are coming out, they are not causing pollution. They, we need to have a tuning of our car or a vehicle regularly. Have better public transport system. That's what I'm saying. And I would also, as, I, as, a, as a doctor, please use masks nowadays, especially for uh, uh, the people who have chronic obstructive airway disease, who have all upper respiratory tract infection, especially with this in Delhi, there is a dengue, dengue season also. There is viral upper respiratory tract fever also. So this viral disease with uh, this pollution is causing problems. And you would find out in Delhi hospitals, the number of patients have gone up by 50% to 70%, especially of these respiratory disease. This is on record, I'm saying, as a responsible member of Indian Medical Association and Delhi Medical Association office well. So therefore, uh, we need to see all in together that public has to come rope in for better uh, public awareness about pollution. They should uh, use the public transport. They should use less private vehicle. As uh, minister was saying, on um, these guards needs to be given electric heaters and all. And the, we all need to do this thing together but, but Dr. the responsibility Anil, of government yes responsibility of government especially is very very important for dust control okay Huge Dr. mechanical splinter Dr. Mechanical Dr. Anil, I just, I, dust I just like to understand from you one thing sir sorry to interrupt you there i understand that the public has to come together and we must do our duty like i said i would want this whole campaign of uh, switching on and switching off your cars to be Throughout the year, it should not be some measure that we implement during just because there's pollution. All of us trying to use public transport is something that we should do through the course of the year, not just some emergency uh, imposition during the days of pollution. The government coming together to ensure that there is public transport and public transport infrastructure is in place so that people can actually opt for that is the government's responsibility. I want to understand from you then what is the responsibility of the farmer? The government is being asked to do its bid and the public is being asked to do its bid. What about the farmer? Who is asking the farmer to also then maybe do their bit? I uh, fully endorse what you are saying. But then as those farmers were telling you that these poor farmers have no other recourse except to do stable burning. So the government has to commit with modern equipment, modern um, machineries, modern ways to tackle the system rather than burning. That is number one. Secondly, the issue uh, is a little more complex because they, this is a cheaper method of uh, getting rid of stubble by these poor farmers. So the government has to give them subsidy for the alternate instruments, art, alternate equipment to dispose of the stubbles. That is how uh, this is to be done. The government has to come in to, in the, to, the, to help these farmers. That's how I feel. Okay. Ella, let me bring you into the conversation. Ella, what do you feel? Like I said, you've also heard what the farmers have had to say. There is some sort of perhaps a victim complex. I don't know what really is the situation. Yes, I understand that all the farmers of Punjab may not have uh, the necessary equipment uh, or the people that they require to help them out with the situation. But Punjab is also a very rich state. Let's not kid ourselves. All the farmers in Punjab are not poor farmers. The rich farmers with acres and acres of land. Why do you think that year after year, they not only do they not want to bring in some of the new technology or buy it, the government also of Punjab doesn't say anything to them. The government's pole plank, in fact, the current government's pole plank in Punjab was the pollution situation 
earlier the aam aadmi party used to very clearly say that oh because it's some other party in power we don't have any control look delhi is suffering now it's your party that's in power and you still cannot say anything to the farmers you're right you know it's a very important question are the farmers actually poor or are they just holding a victim mindset now the businessmen at the end of the day they're selling their grains they should be responsible for the parali so what they're burning is obviously the easiest thing to do but honestly the government is 100% responsible now they don't have an excuse it doesn't matter which government is in power but it is the onus comes upon the government so you know we can do whatever we want in the city we are trying to be better human beings and everything uh with electric cars and you know separating our garbage and everything but basically the government there needs to answer why haven't they been picking up the parali because they've been saying for years now we've been having this uh, discussion for 8 years or 10 years now so they haven't been doing that so the the onus comes on the aam aadmi party why aren't you bringing it because they promised and they're not delivering and now we are all suffering we already all of us are feeling it you know it's really bad already but think about uh, later on it's going to get worse and worse so you're right the aam aadmi party has to has to answer they've got to set the straight they've got to take their trucks they've got to go and pick up those bales they've got to take that machinery and they've got to do it like you said punjab does have enough funds it's not like they don't have funds and if they don't have funds then they should prove that they don't have the funds right absolutely sandeep chatra let me bring you the conversation here what do you feel when you heard what the farmers have had to say that there is an absolute denial of the fact that any pollution comes from punjab and it's all being blamed on industries first it was blamed on firecrackers and once again like i said yes don't don't burst firecrackers uh, that also adds to other problems it does add to some sort of environmental issues as well and but that's a separate conversation firecrackers vehicular pollution is also something that governments are continuously working towards but this one problem that every year we spend a month talking about it and then we wait for the next year to spend another month talking about it why is there that we can't move forward and today we have reached a stage where the farmers are in com- in a complete state of denial they say nobody is burning stubble in punjab so thank you and festive greetings to all and thank you for having me here i think uh, the way to approach this devika ji is to look at evidence look at data and then formulate strategies and that's where i'll begin if you allow me a couple of minutes now in as much as uh, the actually evidence based study of the indian institute of technology De- uh, kanpur actually which was submitted to the government of delhi in 2016 is concerned they have looked at which are the major factors causing pollution uh, into delhi now this hasn't changed over the years this is a 2016 study now they have identified that as far as particulate matter 10 and below is concerned and even pm 2.5 particulate matter 2.5 it's it's measured in micrometers uh, for for those uh, contributions the major factors are actually road dust one of the speakers previously was uh, using that word uh, the other major factor is what is called the uh, concrete batching this is essentially construction industry then of course industrial pollution please remember delhi has one of the highest concentrations of small scale industries delhi and ncr and some of the farmers were referring to it and then of course the vehicular uh, sort of uh, contributions to pollution these are the four major the top four ones as per the iit kanpur study we can debate it but we all know and of course parali burning has a contribution but it's only seasonal and we were debating it that the extent of it is not the way it was put in the show the major extent so in some ways this is how we need to sort of adopt in terms of making delhi a green city so a green recovery pathways means what now in as much as parali burning is concerned devika ji this is what i would like to say the sustainable technological solutions which have been developed by indian institute of uh, agriculture research and others need to be implemented on the ground that will help farmers but the farmers are presenting some of the challenges in adapting or adopting some of those technologies they are asking for in- incentives please remember these solutions are also labor displacing please remember there's a whole range of landless agricultural workers who find some work in actually uh, cleaning up so i, I think 
uh, while technological implementation has to be done, let's also remember there's a fundamental problem. And this fundamental problem is with reference to the agricultural transformation, the agroecological transformation that is needed, not just in Punjab, all over India, but here we are talking of Punjab. Uh, you know, the, the stalwart MS Swaminathan passed away some days ago, and I'll take the, the time to not only remember him, but also to see what he did. He started off as a Green Revolution champion, and mm. through his life ended up as a, a champion for sustainable agriculture, for ecological agriculture. So I, I do think an ecological transition will help, but that's a medium-term measure. Now, coming back to Delhi, let me quickly point out a series of steps, which essentially uh, some of the other speakers have touched on, but I'll elaborate in, in short points. First of all, I do think we need real-time monitoring and real-time strict monitoring and a zero-tolerance policy as far as pollution goes with reference to industries in Delhi and in the NCR territory. My second point goes to very strict surveillance with, on the construction sites of the, kind of, uh, of the kind of contributions they create to pollution and stopping those. Now, this is not once uh, in a year activity as was pointed out. This needs to be done uh, throughout the year. The, the problem with the graded response action plan, which uh, the Honorable Minister was speaking to, and it was welcome what he spoke, is that, as so, you know, we, we, we tend to be responsive and only do those actions once pollution levels have risen very high, once AQI levels have risen very high. So we need a year-round implementation of the different phases of the graded response action program, the national air quality program, which the central government has launched. These need much more comprehensive implementation. We okay. also need... Uh, very quickly, Devika ji, we also need very strong measures to green Delhi. Greening Delhi means recovering urban commons, de developing, uh, we need to continue that. Delhi, remember, was a very, very green city. So we need to keep it even bigger, greener. So the urban commons, the water bodies, the, the, gre the greening of the city itself needs to be a very, very strongly financed public and uh, government initiative. I also do think, uh, Devika ji, that this whole question of public transport, the Honorable Minister was announcing some measures under GRAP2 right now. But I also do think the last mile connectivity, the increase in rapidity of public transport, the question of affordability of public transport for those who are not using the metros, the question of public bus transport, the question of developing cycling paths, these are pathways needed. Remember that you, uh, while we did see response from 2016, we've had progression. Uh, I must say this through these policy actions, not a major progression, but remember this is a complex but, but issue. Chalsa, and I think it, you, okay, talking about transport oh, specifically, talking yeah, about transport, yeah. you're saying cycling. You really think it's possible to cycle anywhere in Delhi? We need to develop, you're right. See, the Delhi no, government... I'm saying, okay, let's develop the tracks for it. Yes, Let's have the course, infrastructure right? in place. Do you really feel that it's possible to cycle around Delhi, given the sort of... Uh, just the sheer heat that we have for almost five to six months of the year. You really think it's possible? First of all, ma'am, I, I think I want to say that you, we need to have the infrastructure and we need to see that social transformation happen. I think all major cities of the world need to get there. I work, uh, I advise the UN Habitat's World Urban Campaign and you're right about the weather patterns. But there are still six months in a year, seven months in a year, where people can and should be encouraged to take up this less polluting transport methods. Yeah, but as soon as that time comes, we have a smoke screen, right? So that's the problem. Six months you have heat, another three months you're then dealing with uh, smoke all over the national capital. How much does that even leave? That literally leaves you with three months. So for three months, all Delhiites are out cycling on the streets and then the rest of the time they're trying to figure out what to do. No, no, but this distinction is artificial, Devika ji. But if you're going in a bus, you also inhale as much of that uh, polluted air as you do while cycling, as you do while walking. Please remember, these are very socially, you know, the, the impact is very socially disaggregated. The workers who are working in Delhi uh, you know, the, the, the construction workers, the cleaners of the city, uh, those ones who are making life possible in the city, the domestic workers, they do not have a choice. They have exactly. To, uh, exactly. They, so, so they have to get to work every day. Uh, whether, whether they get to work by cycles, whether they get to work by unaffordable public transport, or whether they, they wait hours 
for uh, you know the the kind of last mile services so i think there's a complex exactly. issue exactly i'm glad there, that you yeah? raised that point because from because this conversation tells us that even the means to then keep ourselves safe be it from the heat in delhi be it from the pollution in delhi is only affordable to the rich it is of the city class most regulated. people today have the money to put up air purifiers in uh, five rooms of their uh, homes everybody in delhi doesn't have that luxury everybody can't afford so that really cannot be uh, the be all and end all solution that okay let's put up air purifiers uh, in our homes i want to begin by first putting out some of these maps on the screens let's just take them uh, in the window next to me we've been tracking now for many years at newsx live fires this is from okay it's getting cut so let's fix that this is a map from october 2018 the viewers if you were able to see uh, the date there i'm going to request the crew upstairs to kindly fix the screen so that the viewers can actually see yes thank you october 2018 okay so the red dots that you see right here are all live fires within the state of punjab recorded in october 2018 this is a photograph from october 2019 all the red dots that you see right here some in the state of punjab a few in haryana and some in uttar pradesh were all live fires recorded in october 2019 october 2020 all this that you see here once again live fires october 2021 all that you see here live fires october 2022 most of punjab gripped in live fires and this was the situation over the national capital at that point in time and this is a photograph from october 2023 that's this year Six years we have been tracking live fires in the states of Punjab, Haryana, and a few in Uttar Pradesh during this season, and it's exactly the same. The pictures are exactly the same. In fact, I'm going to take you now to what is happening currently. Okay, this is the website that we've been using. It's called NASA World View Earth Data. the date set is 20th october 2023 so this is literally just a few days ago and you see all these orange dots were all live fires and one right here close to delhi all live fires so it's already begun for delhi once again this saga of the smoke screen as far as this year is concerned this is just a day after those fires so on the 21st no fires were reported in the state of punjab one isolated fire here in the state of haryana none in uttar pradesh but do you see the impact the impact that those fires the day before have had this was delhi and there is science to it viewers this is all not happening in isolation there's science to it right the wind patterns at this time of the year are such that everything sort of gets stuck in this area so whatever is happening in punjab all the smoke with the winds comes here and because the winds have slowed down so much it just becomes a blanket smoke screen over the national capital on a year after year after year basis this is a photograph from today once again reporting a few fires isolated in both punjab and haryana but do you see the quality of the air over north india and this is just the beginning of what we see what we witness what we smell and what we go through on a year after year after year after year basis I want to give an opportunity to Siddharth Singh to begin of the Aam Aadmi Party. Siddharth Singh, you are in power in Delhi, and you are in power in Punjab. We had a conversation with some farmers at six o'clock today. The farmers are in complete denial 
that there are any that there is any stubble burning in Punjab. They're saying don't try to paint Punjab in a bad light. This pollution over Delhi doesn't come from our stubble burning, which they say doesn't happen anyway. Very isolated incidents, but it actually comes from all the factories that are around Delhi. Whatever the reason may be, your party is in power. What would you like to say? Yeah. First of all, I'd like to say a small correction. My name is Siddharth Sharma, not Siddharth Singh. Anyway, that doesn't matter. My apologies matter. for that. No, Mr. that's Sharma. okay. That's okay. Absolutely okay. That's. Uh, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, uh, coming to the uh, substantial part here, uh, something that is called as a complaint, and then something that is called as a solution. As the NASA photographs are very clearly showing, the palm fires are not just uh, contained to Punjab in India. They also palm fires are also seen. A lot of palm fires are seen in adjacent Pakistan also. So this this we have to understand. This is a bread basket fire uh, farm fire issue. Uh, pan South Asia, especially the Gangetic Belt. So now we have to find a solution. Now, as the photographs, your own photographs, NASA photographs have shown, uh, year after year, there has been a substantial drop in the red zones or the orange zones. For example, as of October 21st this year, uh, there were 1,764 farm fires in Punjab. Correspondingly, on the same day, two years ago, in 2021, there were 4,327 farm fires. That is nearly a threefold drop has happened. Now, obviously, this threefold drop has happened does it mean that it has become zero obviously not this is a now we have to understand that this issue is not a political issue this is a global issue we have to stand hand in hand we have to give support to the hand of the prime minister honorable prime minister of india who in november 2021 in glasgow cop summit has unilaterally declared that india will cut down 1 billion tons of carbon emissions per year by 2030 so now to achieve that Obviously, it will not happen as easily as the, the Honorable Prime Minister stopped the Russia-Ukraine war through a telephone call. You cannot call the environment on a telephone call and ask it not to pollute. So we have to speak to all the stakeholders. As the AQI also shows, it is not just a pan-Delhi thing. Uh, Greater Noida is also polluted. Uh, Faridabad is also polluted. Faridabad, uh, the state government in Faridabad is something different to what the state government in Noida is. And the Delhi state government is different. But that doesn't matter. Today, the Delhi might be number three, but tomorrow it might become number one. Uh, day after tomorrow, Lucknow can also become number one. We have to come up with a joint action plan on this. This has to be a pan-India, especially the pan pan Gangetic North India initiative with all the state stakeholders at play. For example, this is again a denominator issue. I'm not defending myself, but obviously, when you ask me questions, we have to clarify. In Punjab, before Amadmi came into power, there was a certain rice variety called BOC 44, which used to take a lot of time in maturity. This year, we have banned it. Uh, thousands and thousands of machines, uh, uh, in situ machines that uh, take care of the stubble right there in the fields have been distributed. Is it making effect? Obviously, yes. As per your, the, the NASA photographs itself shows that compared to 2021, the palm fires have come down. But it is not enough. The palm fires have to be zero. And for this, the farmer cannot be anywhere. A farmer cannot be held responsible because then again, it will become a blame game. Uh, no state government or the central government can be held responsible because again, it will become a blame game. We have to find a solution and this solution has to has to come through the initiative of the Honorable Prime Minister. I think the Delhi uh, government and the uh, Delhi Environment Minister, Mr. Gopal Rai has already uh, appealed uh, and uh, given a suggestion that a pan North Indian NCR, all the states of NCR, joint action plan has to come up, come about it because uh, imagine tomorrow if Haryana comes comes up with uh, a policy which makes farm fires as zero is it enough because if Haryana is not having farm fires if uh, adjacent Merit has still farm fires going on the effect will be the same so it's not that it's a state government issue we have to come up with a uh, joint that's, action that's all fine Mr. Sharma if you're saying that there's been a threefold drop in farm fires Yes. Thanks to your government. What have you done? If you can just share with our viewers, what are the measures? I'm sure the Amandi party very closely tracks this uh, problem. Uh, and you've made a note of what has worked and what has not worked. Why is yeah. it that the farmers are not ready to use 
uh, these subsidized machines that the Amarni party claims that they, uh, to have distributed because when we spoke to the farmers they said that no machines have really been distributed and the ones that are there are too expensive for most of the farmers to buy yeah very good question i think uh, you've asked a very pertinent technical question and I'll, i'll answer that one is that we have formed a war room where a dedicated satellite 24/7 monitors tracks all the farm fires as you can understand all the farms in punjab punjab has a huge geography all the farms in punjab would not necessarily be on the adjacent to any main roads or the arterial roads there will be some farm farms which are deep interior so when you track through a satellite you can see farm fires even if they are in hinterland deep inside and once the farm fires are detected immediately the fire brigade is sent and ensured that the farm fires are doused down now the second thing that i uh, at the cost of repetition i'll say uh, one of the reasons why farm fires happen is that there is a very small window between when the farmer harvests his paddy and he sows the wheat crop the gap between them is hardly 15 days and the stubble that comes out after the uh, paddy harvesting still remains in the ground and in 15 days it does not uh, uh, turn into manure so that is why a lot of farmers used to uh, go for fa- farm fires to burn down that uh, stubble now uh, one of the initiatives our uh, aam aadmi party bhagwant man government took was that a variety of rice which was extensively harvested and extensively sown in punjab was called poc 44 which whose maturity uh, gestation period was longer and okay. the maturity period was longer so we have totally banned that this year that's why the paddy crop this year has been harvested earlier than last year that means that the f- f- farmers have gotten a better uh, b- a longer window in which the stubbles even if they don't burn it they get they uh, uh, turn into manure other than that uh, nearly 4 lakh machines have been given uh, have been sent to remote areas because please understand as a government you can procure a lot of machines but those machines would be sitting in the district headquarters yes. and a farm fire would have been happening somewhere deep down in the hinterland so the, it is a logistical issue where we have to ensure that those machines do not sit at the district headquarters but go down to the village level so that is one of the reasons why there, there has been a threefold drop in the farm fires in punjab this year as of october 21st but that also means that it is not it is like a student who has been asked to appear for a 100 marks question paper and he has come up with a 75 80 marks but that, that doesn't mean that he has scored 100 out of 100 okay. but that okay. also doesn't mean that he has failed he has done well but there is a lot to do okay all right a lot more to be done let me bring in the bjp anil gupta what exactly is the bjp's plan as far as haryana and uh, uttar pradesh are concerned Uh, let me clarify uh, the worsening for the position of uh, air pollution in delhi let me first speak to you about the root cause which i think my previous speaker is not uh, talking about you know in delhi if you check right from january to december nowhere in the month you have the aqi of less than 150 or 200 each month there is a aqi of 150 160 200 and in winter it crosses 400 today also the aqi is 350 to 400 depending upon the monetary station we have 38 monitoring station in delhi you know aqi has a eight parameters uh, pm 2.5 pm 10 uh, ozone nox sulfur carbon monoxide ammonia and lead if you go deep into details of these parameters we may we, there is no uh, calculation for lead or ammonia is nil the major contribution of aqi 350 to 400 today is that or it is there is pm 2.5 and pm 10 and the uh, the uh, the main reason for this air pollution is the dust pollution and it may come uh, internally or externally stubble burning is one of the reason but not the main reason i have been always talking that the delhi government is not doing anything to control their internal the delhi uh, pm 10 and pm 2.5 you know delhi has a road network of 28508 kilometers and uh, as per the delhi government report they generate roughly 11320 tons per day of cnd waste and uh, uh, roughly 3100 the cnd waste they are not able to uh, treat or uh, they, they they are not able to store 
So, you okay. know, everywhere you go in Delhi, you will find a lot of dust, a lot of uh, CND waste, a lot of potholes, everything. You know, round the year, if you talk of uh, March or February, when you have AQI, it doesn't matter. But when the stubble burning pollution comes to Delhi, it aggravates and the AQI reaches. I always say that Delhi government is not doing anything to control this air pollution, this dust pollution, round the year, they are just doing the cosmetic work. I give you some examples. The Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai normally talks about so this bio decomposer, which is there sometimes for Photoshop, <laughs> he goes there and the and the uses. There is no okay, reason. Mr. Gupta, but I, I asked you about the air, plan for Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. Uh, let, I'm, I'm coming to that. Now let me let me complete. I'm coming to that. Why don't this bio decomposer is being used in Punjab? Why? Because they just want to show the Photoshop and nothing like that. They are not removing the dust pollution. You go to any road, you will find a lot of malvas in this thing. I am not denying that uh, stubble burning is not there in Haryana. There is. But I say the major cause of air pollution and because of the weather in the winter season, like it is there today, this dispersion of air is not there. So it accumulates and we have a smoke-like situation. They have to control internally by removing all these photos, this uh, dust. Mass okay. cleaning of Delhi is needy. And they have to control this external also. Uh, uh, about the, this stubble, I say what Modi government has done, my previous speaker was mentioning something. You know, already all these Panipa thermal plant and all the thermal plant, by, uh, by a gazette notification, they have been asked to take 5% of their fuel, which comes normally 1,10 1, per month of this, uh, uh, this Parali for their fuel. And already a few crores has been given by Modi government to make the bundle of this parali so that it can be used. It is for the state government to come up with some small, uh, uh, several small units where they can collect this uh, parali from the farmers, they can bundle together and supply it. Now it is a rule and it is by the gadget notification. But Punjab government and other government also, they are not very serious. And about this regular pollution, I saw the Modi government has done of the eastern western peripheral. Now non-destined uh, these uh, vehicles, uh, commercial vehicles are not entering. So, you know, even if you check today the carbon monoxide, the NOx, they are very, they are in a minimum range. So, that vehicular pollution of the external which comes to Delhi is not coming. But Delhi government is not able to clean Delhi. So, whenever winter is there, they always say that it is because of Prali. I say Prali may be one of the reasons. But the main reason is the accumulation of all the CND waste and dust, which okay. is there all right. in 28,000 I need to give the last word to, road, okay. which is there. All right, I need to give the last word to Anika Mirutra. Anika Mirutra, how exactly is the Congress then demanding any sort of accountability from any of the states? Because uh, Rahul Gandhi is busy uh, talking about anything but pol uh, pollution. It's not like that, ma'am. Uh, there are issues and um, pollution is a major concern. But rightly said by Sandeep Ji, your uh, uh, speaker who said earlier, it's not, uh, uh, you know, a, a day's thing or winter's thing. It's a 21 to 7 issue and a sustainable solution should be in place. Yes, the centre government must cooperate with Delhi because specifically so, Delhi is surrounded by these cities and the states. You know, and it becomes a claustrophobic kind of a thing. Has no way to ease out its pollution. So yes, both the government should work together. Uh, Delhi government, in its own right, should work into Balsawa landfills and you know dust or construction. These things are going, happening 21 to 7. The industrial pollution. So there are factors in Delhi which contribute to its own pollution also, and as well as the. Uh, from the other states. So I think both the centre government need to pump in and work together, bringing in technology. We just can't be saying it year after year, as you rightly said. For last six years, you have been covering up and we are deteriorating. Look at the health of, us, of our young children. We can't take them out to play. It's so unfortunate and it's so unfair on these governments to do it. So I think it's, it's a doable thing. It's nothing that we can't achieve. When they can achieve other things, this should be the priority of the government in power as well as the centre government. And I think that's the way forward. I mean, the blame game can go on, ma'am. It's no end to it. But till when? We are not okay. in power. If I'm not in power, so what? Are you not concerned? So they, it should be their priority. And the centre government, Mr. Modi, spoke about Swachh Bharat. Where are we uh, heading towards it, ma'am? Why not in Delhi? 
सो इफ यू हैव कैप्शन ग्लीन डेली क्लीन डेली क्लीन सिटी स्वच्छ भारत enough for this caption and slogan bazi it should be seen in the ground and hence i say i repeat myself it should be 24 into 7 why is there a wake up call ma'am why should we wake up suddenly that oh the pollution has gone up now we'll do you know uh, odd and even system or the schools will be closed i'm sorry it will not be tolerated okay all right i've completely run out of time i thank uh, all the panelists for joining us uh, hopefully we will be able to move beyond uh the political to to me to actually find a genuine honest solution to a problem that we've just been facing for far too long and it's unacceptable to us as people who have to breathe this air day in and day out so hopefully the political parties can keep all of their issues aside and maybe they can start finding people who have actually come up with solutions and help them in whatever capacity required to take those solutions to the farmers to ensure that by next year we reach zero stubble burning cases that needs to be our goal and we need to say that this has to happen next year not in the next 5 years not in the next 10 years it has to happen next year for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon